Hello and welcome to this afternoon's colloquium. We're very happy to have John Campbell with us today. Uh, John is from New Zealand, Christchurch, Canterbury University. We're going to have him tell us about Ernest Rutherford. The, on this, as you can see, the centennial of splitting the atom. So if you could please join me in welcoming John Campbell. Rutherford used this very simple apparatus for a very profound experiment. He had a radioactive source emitting alpha particles on the end of this plunger. It could be moved. At the far end is a scintillating plate, which could be looked at with a microscope. Through here, he could put different gases in this brass tube. Is that clear enough? And if he shifted the radioactive source further away from here than the alphas could possibly reach the screen. He still saw weak flashes. This was caused by the alpha particle striking nitrogen nuclei and emitting a proton. And that proton was very high energy and could reach the screen. When called to a meeting on submarine detection, Rutherford sent a message saying his attendance would be delayed due to the necessity of completing experiments in which he thought he had split the nucleus. If this is true, its ultimate importance is far greater than that of war. Rutherford's previous work had been observational, confirming radioactivity as nature's own alchemy. Now he himself had become the world's first successful alchemist, turning nitrogen into oxygen. When the alpha particle hit the nucleus, the nucleus split into an oxygen nucleus and a hydrogen nucleus. Rutherford was the first person to split the atom. 